Those of us who have been able to resist gentrification have been experiencing police violence because we aren't leaving the city soon enough. And because our black and brown skin poses a threat to the new people coming in. Activists have been integrating the images of victims of police violence, like Alex Nieto and Emil Carr, in public art across the city to expose how violent the SFPD is willing to get to displace people of color. The most violent way working class people of color are leaving the city is in a body bag. Th they are the most visible and painful reminder that working class people of color are being displaced every day. This city has already ethnically cleansed in Hunters Point, Fillmore, Bayview, and Ingleside by either kicking out or killing the black population. In 1970, one in seven residents were black. Now one in 20 residents are black. Aside from New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina, San Francisco has the highest displacement rate of African Americans. On February 26, uh, two, 2015, Amilcar Perez Lopez was shot in the back six times by plainclothes police, op police officers. We've been organizing and mobilizing nonviolently for nearly two years and have yet to see justice for his murder. The San Francisco De Police Department has told the public that Amilcar lunged with a knife at officers, but this, as well as many other details, contradicts the autopsy report which states that Amilcar was shot six times in the back, arm, and head. Mayor Ed Lee and Diego Gascon must hold. Oh, Ed Lee and Diego Gascon must hold their police officers accountable for the murder of Am Amilcar as well as the other ten pending cases against the SFPD. In light of national patterns of unwarranted police brutality, we expect city officials to hear and respond to the people's demands, or, or be held accountable for the incompetence of the SFPD. We must use the tools that we have to create art that, affects the pro that reflects the problems that we face as brown and black San Francisco residents. Yes. We must work together nonviolently as activists and artists to take a stance against the bleaching of our yes. city. Yeah. Martin Luther King Jr. didn't start the process of equality among white and colored. He was just a large part of the movement. It is up to us to continue the struggle. Yeah. We demand that officers be held accountable for their murders, specifically officers that murdered Emil Carr. We will be here to shed light on this issue as a part of APTP's 120 Hours of Action. Justice for Emil Carr! Justice for Emil Carr Perez Lopez! Yeah.